can signpost to various auctions and um, agencies to help. So please do keep in touch. Um, in the meantime, we will continue to nurture your children and help them to have a playful, um, fun and inspiring learning time here at Fans. Um, I will introduce you to Johnny and Dave who are Ruby and Willow, um, to Liz and Gavin in Beechwood and to Kirsty in April to join us today. But for now, um, you may even see some of our lovely fans team if they're brave enough. But for now, it's just... after in Willow and Beach up to 10 children, could can be a bit more than 10, um, uh, up to 13 is a legal requirement that we like to have 10. And the nursery curriculum is all about children's empowerment, responsibility, independence. This is their nursery, it's not our nursery. So we want them to feel a real sense of community, a home from home. So they're learning is through play and it's really based on what their interests are. So us as practitioners, we are helping your, your child to develop their learning through their own play ideas and skills. Um, so you may have seen our recess fund, we have something called work time, work time, play time. This is when your child can choose to play anywhere, inside, outside the nursery, it's free free flow um, and can choose what they want to do and we are there to support that and think, oh, maybe you want some extra materials we can do this or we ask the leading questions we join in we have fun as well um, and we sometimes just have a few of our own ideas and we'll go have you tried doing this so that's how we teach you it's very very different from older children so we have a routine again this is about empowerment for the children. The routine is to help them. So once you've dropped off your child in the morning, they're playing in the room, and we're following their interests. Now, because of COVID, we normally have, this is in Beach and Willow, we normally have a set group time where the, where the group comes to sit with their key person and they do a special activity. But because of COVID, we're not doing that yet. I'm hoping we will do. But what we are doing is we're setting out what we call provocations. So these are little activities. Uh, for instance, last week, one of the first weeks, we had lots and lots of shaving foam out, and the children were just loving it. They were really exploring it, and we were using all that language to model their play. We were joining in, we were having fun. That sense of awe and wonder was definitely there. Um, so we are following a curriculum, it's called the Early Years Foundation Stage. Um, it's in seven categories, uh, um, which include uh, personal and social development, um, language and listening development, and physical development. Those are the three cruxes for the early years. There are other things like numeracy, literacy, and uh, creative play that come alongside that. But the most important thing we're trying to engender is in your child are those lifelong skills. So we're wanting them to be curious. We want them to be independent learners. We want them to care about each other. We want them to share. We want them to question and ask why things are happening. We want, to, we want them to concentrate, 
we want them to show perseverance. So that's very much what we're working across the nursery, right from the two-year-olds, right to the four-year-olds, the oldest children. Um, so that's, do look at the website, because the website has the whole routine there, um, including tidy up time, which your child will no doubt tell you about. And we make tidy up time fun. We'll, we'll, we'll hide things away from them. They'll go, where does this go? And they'll know where it goes. But that, again, it's empowering the children to be responsible for their learning environment. Once things are put away, the table is clear for them to have a snack time in their group with their kids. So any other questions about the curriculum, please do um, ask us, write it on the forum, um, or come and speak to us during the day. That's the best thing. Okay. Now you will have also read about our forest school experience. We go up to Stoke Park, um, absolutely beautiful. There's a lovely big field before you get to the forest, which we go up to. Um, your child should go two or three times a year. Um, we do take them in their group, so they go with their key person. Um, in all weathers, <laughs> unless it's too windy, because it, it's very dangerous if it's too windy, but we make sure that they're warm and in waterproofs. Um, the only problem at the moment is we can't use public transport to get them up there. So if any of you have got any suggestions on how we can get up to State Park, uh, we gratefully receive um, so I was kind of waiting for the COVID um, uh, green lights to uh, happen, and then we're, we're going to start for a school. It's tidy up time! It's tidy up time, yes! <laughs> um, so any questions, do post them on the forum and we'll get back to you. Thanks very much. My name is Liz Williams. I'm the SECO here at the Nappy Nursery School and Children's Centre. That means I'm the Special Needs Coordinator and I'm here to help you and your child at nursery. If you think your child has additional needs, come and see me in the morning in Beach Room or uh, you can talk to your key, key person, your child's key person or you can also talk to me on the gate. I'm there every afternoon at drop off and collection time. Um, you, you can also contact me on, by email. My email is elizabeth.williams at bristol-schools.uk here at Clilton Avenue, we have access to a wide range of specialist support services for children with additional needs. In the first instance, if you would like to talk to a speech and language therapist about your child's language development, at the moment they are offering a drop-in service by telephone on Thursday mornings from 9.45 to 12.15 during term times. The number is 0300 124 5832. Staff can also make direct referrals to the Speech and Language Therapy Service um, as well. Please talk to your child's key person in the first instance if you have any concerns about your child's language development. Thanks a lot. I look forward to getting to know you.